Hey, hi, hello, my name is Emily, and thanks so much for hanging out with us on the Today Needs You podcast. This is where we have the chance to chat about all the things, from feelings and friendships to our favorite sneakers and our favorite Bible verses, we're going to tackle it all. I'm super pumped about today's episode, so let's dive in together. Hi, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Happy Valentine's Day. I um, at first was not going to do a Valentine's Day specific episode for this week because I know it's like cringy, cheesy and everything, but I decided that we're going to do it because I love love. I've always loved love. And even if Valentine's Day is not your jam, which I do understand, <clears throat> um, we're going to talk about dating and relationships because it's fun. And I hope that um, we can laugh together, have fun together, and hopefully you can take some things away that are helpful in your life. Um, but circling back to how I love love, I have always been an avid rom-com watcher, romantic comedies. Um, the Notebook, less calm, more rom, but like The Notebook, um, Pride and Prejudice, very dramatic romance. Um, the 2005 version with Keira Knightley for sure. Like any, even if it's the love scene in Star Wars, the love scenes in or like the love plots in Star Wars, in, I don't know, every movie. I love it. Fast and Furious. Great movie, by the way. Um, anyway, I love love, even when it doesn't involve me. And because I love love, the stakes are very high for me when it comes to dating. And I'm 28. I This is my first Valentine's Day. Um, that I have had a significant other. And this is also two days before Valentine's Day. Jordan and I celebrated one year of dating, which is crazy. Um, But I've spent many a Valentine's Day without a significant other. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I have learned about dating before I actually ended up dating someone going on dates, having crushes, things going well, things going poorly. And we're just going to talk about it. Um, But first and foremost, I think the biggest thing is that, um, you know, we talk about scripture and all the things and your life and how those things go together. And John 10, 10 says the thief being Satan, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I have come that they may have life to the full. And I love that verse so much because it's like, oh yeah, Jesus wants us to have a full, great life. Um, And that doesn't come without bad things. That doesn't come without hard things, but it also includes great things. And I just want to say first and foremost, that that is not to say that having a significant other, getting married, that's not how you have a full life. Those can be pieces of a full life and part of a full life. And having a significant other can be a part of a full life, but you are given access to a full life in a relationship with Jesus and leaning into that and growing to be more like God and strive to live more like Jesus lived and leaning into that relationship. That's the source of a full life, not a significant other or marriage or having children one day or anything like that, which what's really cool about that, in my opinion is that that means that we can live full right now, no matter what our life circumstances look like, what our relationships look like, that's available to us right now. And so we're going to talk about that specifically in the context of dating today, but just know that 
that's available to you whether you're dating or not. When I was growing up, um, which I still feel like I'm growing up, I feel like we're always growing up, but when I was younger, I definitely loved love. Um, a brief little caveat, I did have a fiance in kindergarten. And I also had an imaginary husband when I was three. We had three kids, um, Casey, David, and Kavid, obviously. Um, so anyway, all that is to say, I've always loved love. But I didn't want to do it wrong. And I was so scared of doing it wrong. And so I didn't date. I would have crushes. I would kind of like talk to boys. But then there was this huge wall that was like, eh, we're not taking that step. And I realized that for me, it was because I was scared of uncertainty and scared of not knowing how the relationship was going to play out. So I didn't even want it to start. And I have learned that that's one of the cool things of a relationship, especially a romantic relationship, is that the point of dating is kind of to see if you want to keep dating each other. And I realized that as I was dating Jordan, as I am dating Jordan, but I realized it pretty early on of like, oh, I'm not supposed to start dating by having all of the information about Jordan, about what our relationship would look like. There were a few key things that I like made sure we were on the same page about pretty early on. Um, and he did as well. We both cared about those things. Um, but like we both love the local church, um, and we're involved in that and we get excited about, um, helping people younger than us experience a full life through a relationship with Jesus. And so those kinds of things were massive and we love family and we care about our friends and community. And so it was fun to know that we were on the same page about those things, but then we still had so much to learn and so much to figure out. And we still do. We've been dating one year, but there's so much that we don't know about each other and so much that we don't know about our relationship. And so that is also why we have made sure to keep each other involved in our social life. So like I hang out with Jordan and his friends that he had before I showed up and Jordan hangs out with me and my friends that I had before he showed up. I think that's hugely important to make sure that a relationship does not end up like happening over here in the corner. And then you have your friends and other people and family going on over here, but that a relationship is a part of your social life and a part of the people that you get along with and spend time with. Um, but the one thing that I also wanted to leave you guys with is because I was so overwhelmed by the uncertainty, by being like, oh my gosh, I am choosing to not know stuff and I'm choosing to invest my feelings and emotions and time into something and there's so much that I don't know. I was so overwhelmed. And honestly, there are still moments where I get very overwhelmed by that. But as we were making decisions, as we were choosing to have conversations, choosing to take steps forward, seeing like, okay, are we going to like lay on the gas or let off the gas, whatever that looked like, it was like, okay, would I be happy with this decision? Would we be happy with this decision? If we broke up tomorrow, if we broke up three months from now, or if we never break up. And it was like, if the answer, if I was going to be happy with a decision, if all three of those things, if each of those three things happened and my friends, mentors, and close people and scripture lined up with it, then I was like, game on, let's do it. Even if this ends up being gross, I can feel good about the decision I made. 
and we can feel good about the decisions we've made. Um, but it's in that uncertainty that we've gotten to build a relationship and I've gotten to get close to someone that God made and God loves. And I've gotten to learn more about people and learn more about Jordan and learn more about God's character by getting close to someone else who cares about living out God's character. And it has been the coolest thing ever. And it's crazy to think that this is like the first time I've gotten to experience a relationship and this full of this fullness and I'm 28. And so I want to encourage you, whether you are nine years old, 14 years old, 20, 25, 28, 35, anywhere, any age, one, you are not alone. Two, I thank you so, so much for hanging out and being a part of this community. And three, lean in, lean in into this season, lean into these opportunities and happy Valentine's Day. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much for listening while we're just getting started. If you want to stay plugged into this community, like, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to hear more about, who you would like to hear from by shooting us an email at info at all the things dot community.